super happy to run the world record today. I mean, I knew I could go faster after my two weeks ago world record, but it's a championship. It's about winning. You heard her. It's not so easy to set a new world record, but she makes it appear like it is. That in itself speaks volumes. She's so fast that she broke the world record, her own mind you, twice within two weeks. Well, there is no doubt that Femke Bull is an elite athlete. Normally, her world-beating achievements both in the 400-meter flat and her favorite event, the 400-meter hurdles, are significantly remarkable. However, it just so happens that she is chasing Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni, widely regarded as the greatest 400-meter hurdler of all time. And so, Bull never quite knows if she's good enough. Talking about her pursuit of McLaughlin Lavroni, Bull said, Of course, you want to be the best, but it's cool to be able to race Sydney, the best ever, and try one day to beat that person. Perhaps never. Perhaps I will be second on the world stage my whole career, but I'm training not to be. Of course, that is not to say that she never won gold in a competition. In fact, she's already won several major gold medals. She is the reigning 400-meter hurdles world champion, winning easily in Budapest last year in Sydney's absence. At the same event, she also anchored the Netherlands team in the 4x400-meter relay for her second world's gold. The Dutch track star also completed a stunning European double in 2022, winning the 400-meter flat before dominating the 400-meter hurdles. She also has three Diamond League crowns in the 400-meter hurdles. But what she has not done yet, and she aims to, is beating Sydney. She never made that a secret. The 24-year-old has not beaten McLaughlin Lavroni in the 400-meter hurdles, finishing behind the American at both the Tokyo Olympics in 2021 and the 2022 World Championships. While the Olympic bronze was an encouraging result for a then 21-year-old bowl, as both McLaughlin Lavroni and Delilah Muhammad were more advanced athletes at that stage, the 2022 World Silver was deflating. She beat her idol Muhammad, who got bronze, but was trounced by 1.59 seconds. It was crazy, Bull said. Sydney was so far in front at the end, I was almost doubting if I really had a good race. Then I saw the time and I thought, wow, that explains a lot. The time was 50.68 seconds, the only ever instance of a woman going under 51 seconds in the 400 meter hurdles. Just so you know, it's the benchmark the Dutch athlete has been working towards ever since. Nevertheless, she is the second fastest woman ever in the 400 meter hurdles. Her 51.45 seconds at last year's London Athletics meet bettered only by McLaughlin Lavroni, who, in addition to the world record, also ran a 51.41 at the USATF Championships in 2022. But then again, as she has already said, she is training not to be second on the world stage. Well, aren't they all? After all, no athlete trains very hard year-round just to finish second, despite the honor that comes along with it. This season, especially since it's an Olympic year, Femke Bowl is working harder than ever to achieve her goal, claim the gold. So far, she's been owning the track. She opened the season by showcasing her prowess at the Meeting Mets Moselle Athelor meeting of the 2024 World Athletics Indoor Tour in early February, delivering a stellar performance with a time of 49.69 in the 400 meters. This notably marks the sixth fastest time indoors and the swiftest season opener in history. Just so you know, the previous fastest time was registered by Jermila Krachtelova in 1981, when she clocked 50.07 seconds. Bowl left behind Andrea Miklos and Julia Niederberger, who recorded 51.41 seconds and 52.96 seconds to secure the top position. It was just her first race of the year, but she's already on fire. Not literally, of course, but she was just beginning. The 23-year-old Dutch athlete topped the women's 200-meter event after registering a time of 22.64 seconds to leave behind Amandine Brossier and Louise Weiland. The time sets a new personal best for her in the 200 meters, showcasing a remarkable improvement. A few days later, the two-time European Athlete of the Year recorded the fourth fastest time in history indoors in the 400 meters at the meeting Hauts de France Pas de Calais in Levin. There, she lowered her world lead to 49.63 in front of a capacity crowd ahead of her Dutch training partner Leica Klaver, 
who committed with Bowl through 200 meters and was rewarded with a season's best of 50.50. According to her coach, if Femke stays healthy and keeps the same or even better physical condition, she can run faster and then try to win what she hasn't won so far. It's not a lot. She's missing world indoor gold and an Olympic gold. If she does that, then she will have won everything. She did. Run faster, that is. The following weekend, she sprinted to 50.55 in the heats just before her fourth race in February. At the National Indoor Championships in Appledorn, she improved her own record of 49.26 when she cruised through 200 meters in the lead and then powered over the finish line in 49.24 to dip under 50 seconds indoors for the sixth time in her career so far. And so, one year after breaking Jarmila Kratochvilova's long-standing World Indoor 400-meter record of 49.59 with 49.26, held at the same venue no less, Bull improved her own mark, which meant that she now holds six of the 12 fastest indoor 400-meter times in history. Then, at the recently concluded 2024 World Athletics Indoor Championships in Glasgow, Scotland, Bowl enhanced her status as one of the stars of track and field with a stunning triumph as she broke her own record to take the 400-meter title. After leading the pack for the majority of the race, the 24-year-old streaked away on the finishing straight to record a time of 49.17 seconds, almost a second ahead of her compatriot Leica Claver in second place with 50.16. The USA's Alexis Holmes finished in third with a personal best time of 50.25. Bull's time also shattered the world record of 49.24 she had just set two weeks ago at the Dutch National Championships, as well as the championship record of 50.06 that Russia's Olesya Krasomovets for Shevia had set in 2006. What's more, Bull is just the fifth Dutch athlete to win a world indoor title after Ellie van Hulst, Nelly Koeman, Nadine Brorsen, and Sifan Hassan. It is her 15th medal at a major international championship. Bull said afterward, I knew I needed a really good race to win this gold. I knew I had to open fast, and once you open fast, you have to keep going because you'll die anyway. It's amazing to also run a world record again. I was hoping to be in the 49. My coaches thought I could do it, but I really wanted the gold. Anyhow, with her teammate and training partner Leica Claver in second place, it marked the first time in World Indoors history that two Dutch athletes reached a podium in the same event. We've trained so hard together to make this a Dutch 1-2, Bull said. When asked about her training regimen and its role in her aspirations for her main event outdoors in the 400-meter hurdles, Bull said, We wanted to work on my speed for the first 200 meters. Of course, hurdles are something different. It's rhythm. It's technique. You never know straight away if one goes well, the other goes well, but it doesn't show that training is going well, and I'm fit, so I'm happy. With the way things have been working in her favor so far, who wouldn't be happy, right? If she continues her dominance on the track, we will definitely see her in Paris in a few months' time. But will we see Christopher Morales-Williams there? Watch this to see if he has what it takes to be there.